Let us put on our flannel pajamas and slip between the silk sheets. Let us lie together and share bedtime stories. Here is an old favorite of mine. It is all true, I assure you. In the inconceivably distant past, a formless god moved lightning slow and thunder sluggish. An indistinct god, fidgety and lonely, formless and free, dreaming the lonely dream of a restless universe. As he moved about the surface of the waters of an infinite number of worlds, he sighed. He could find no company. He could find no lovers. The chilling beauty of alien sunrises and sunsets made him sad. He could not settle anywhere. It was only inevitable then, after an infinitely long period of time, dwelling in this dismal meditation, this sickening samadhi. He heard a voice that he had not heard since last night. For you see, to the formless ones, eternity happens in a flash. And the voice beside him, gently touching his shoulder, was saying, Wake up! He was startled to find a radiant turquoise goddess wrapped in clouds lying next to him on the bed. You were quite the brute last night, don't you remember? No? We met between the ocean and the sky. You were so sweet, so dark and handsome. And one thing led to another, and well, here we are. He pretended he could remember, but actually, he had not one hot clue as to how he got here or even whose bed and apartment he found himself in this morning. But unable to account for his good fortune, he pretended he did, and eventually convinced himself that this was, in fact, his rightful place, his heavenly palace. That is, their place, their palace. It was not long before she told him, Love, I am the quintessence of the temperate way, neither too hot or cold, perfectly positioned in orbit and attitude. The spark of our passion has touched me in an elemental way. There is a stirring, I feel, the building blocks of DNA. What are you saying exactly? Your philandering days are over, dear. We are to have children. Children? More than one? You have no idea. Countless many. Well, that's just great. I guess I'll need to find a job now. Have you any idea how much misery this will cause me? And how much joy, dear? Think of the joy. And eventually he did.
Sorry, dear, I've come too far and I'm too far gone to believe that story. Try this one. Billie Holiday and Coleman Hawkins were broke. Luckily, a record producer gave them the offer of a lifetime, and they jumped at the chance. They went into the recording studio, and in a single afternoon laid down 14 of the most beautiful tracks in the history of jazz, if not in the history of recorded music. Afterwards, they went to the producer and signed away their rights to any future royalties and were paid $50. Splurging on a cab, they went uptown and ordered a dinner of roasted chicken. Afterwards, they were as broke as they were when they started. The record went on to make millions. a sad story. No, no, don't misunderstand me. Let me tell you, it was the best tasting roasted chicken in the entire universe.